hi everyone welcome back to my channel now in today's video as a continuation of the previous video this is the part two we are going to look at how to optimize the docker file that we wrote in the other video and also how to push the docker image to docker hub so before i go in there i'll build the pipeline one more time so build now okay so just like i built in the previous video the same build that i'm doing so it's successful now when we go to our workspaces go in here so these are all the files in the github and the other files that were downloaded as dependencies for a node app so if you go to our github account let's refresh this this is the docker file that we used in the previous video now the reason why I'm rewriting the docker file or the reason why I'm optimizing it is because let's go to the terminal and let's do docker images and see the image that our pipeline just built. So this is the image. Remember in the pipeline, the Jenkins file, I'm calling it node image plus the build number. When you come in here, what we just built was build number 14. So node image 14 is the latest build and it's very big it's over a gigabyte now you can see that the reason why it's over a gigabyte is because it is using the latest version of the node image in our docker file it's picking the latest version of node now that is way too big because it's based on the full linux distribution this includes many utilities libraries and other applications that aren't really necessary at the moment so there's no need to use that so i will replace that in the new docker file which is this one that we are going to use to the alpine alpine is basically a lightweight image that we can use but there's still enough to do our docker image build and then aside that if you check the workspace you would see node underscore modules that's a new file dot git it's also a new file dot get it no it's a new file and then everything else right whenever we run this docker file and we run the command npm install this command will generate dependencies for node app now some of the dependencies will be inside this directory node modules and we only need it to install dependencies but after that we don't need it anymore you have to get rid of it if not it will store it with the image and then we also don't need this dot git in our image and so for that i created a dot git ignore file which contains node underscore modules dot git the docker file you don't need it after building the image and then dot docker ignore file itself you also don't need it and then any dot md file especially here well the only md file is the readme we also don't need that in our image so i'll use dot get ignore file for the image build to ignore all of these files that will give us our new docker file that looks like this we use our alpine set a working directory copy the package files install the npm dependencies when it comes to the npm dependencies when you write npm install it installs dependencies for both development and production environments, which is basically two in one. You only need one version to use. Because you are using two in one, it will make the image a little bloated. And so what I'm doing is I would rather install only for the production dependencies. All right, which will reduce the size. And then everything else remains the same. Copy all this stuff, expose, and then start. Before I perform the build, this is my directory. This is the new Docker file. I renamed the old Docker file as Docker file old. And then I will rename the new Docker file as our current Docker file. Okay. This uses the latest node, so that is the old one. And if I cut actual docker file the new one we use the alpine it has the production i clear the screen and now save the changes 
So I'll push the changes, refresh the GitHub. We should have this as our new Docker file, which is the updated version. Okay. So in our Jenkins, we will do our 15th build. So build now. Okay. So that was a success. Now on our terminal, if I do Docker images, this was the 15th build. So this is the new image. Now you can see that the size is very small now. It's only 156 megabytes. And it's because it's using the Alpine as our base. And Alpine only has 153 megabytes. The other dependencies and stuff we added to this image only added 3 megabytes. So this is a lightweight image that we can easily push to our Docker Hub. All right, now let's look at how to push our Docker image to Docker Hub. Go to Jenkins file. First, let me sign in to my Docker Hub account. You can easily create one. It's free of charge. This is my Docker Hub account. And you can create your repositories in here. I have one repository here, which is iquant c slash iquant apps. If I open this repo, it's empty. So I'll push my Docker image into this specific repository. Let's go to the account settings. So click on that and then account settings. Go to personal sex token. I will call it um, Docker Hub. Jenkins token. Okay. Then for the permissions, I'll give it read, write, delete permissions. You can give it other kind of permissions, but because we are pushing into this repo, it has to have a write permission. Either of these two should be fine. Hit generate. This is our token. Copy it. Go to the Jenkins. Manage Jenkins. Go to credentials. Global. Add credentials, username and password, that's fine. Docker Hub username is iquant C, that's our username. Or you can also hit it here and you see the username right there. And the password will be the token that you just copied, paste it. Docker Hub Jenkins token. I'll use the same as the description. Create. Okay, so it's ready. Let's go back home. Back in my Jenkins file, I'll create some environment variables. For the tool, I'll do environment. And then in environment, create two environment variables. So I'll have docker underscore credentials ID. Let's go to where the credentials is. Docker Hub. Yeah. That's the ID I gave it. So copy that and save it here. Let's set docker registry. As a, an environment variable. Now the Docker registry is going to be the Docker Hub. Now, when you open your Docker Hub account, address looks like this http hub.docker.com. Paste it here. Now, we use this in my build state. So let's scroll down. So I create another stage. This stage will be to push image to Docker Hub. Inside it, you have some steps. Again, let's just use scripts. Now, before we do our push, I'm going to modify this a little bit. I'll call the Docker build step Docker image. And I'll change the naming a little bit. Just a slight change here. I replace it with the environment variable Docker Hub repo. Okay. So I forgot one more environment variable. I need to specify my Docker Hub repo as well. In a Docker Hub account, this is the repo that I'm going to use. So it's icon C slash icon apps. Okay. So this should be icon C slash icon hyphen apps. Let's continue with this. So Docker build. Then I'm gonna tag it as latest. Just making it a bit nicer. Now let's do the push. When we go to Jenkins dashboard, 
go to our build job configure scroll down to pipeline syntax again if you go to global variable reference this is our docker plugin and to authenticate with docker hub you do docker dot with registry just like we did docker dot build right so in our pipeline script i'll have something like this docker dot with the registry rs capital and inside the parentheses our arguments is going to be https registry dot hub dot docker dot com that is the address for docker hub and then the other item will be one of our environment variables docker hub credential with an s by the way when it sets environment variables normally you have to use double quotes okay that looks good next we need to put some command inside of this and that command is going to be to push it like right? push is also going to be docker image dot push now this is our docker image so i'll copy this paste it in here dot push then inside the parentheses i will target as latest as i did up here so the current one is the one that we are going to push the current build i think it looks good save this and then commit changes to github let's go back to our jenkins to our pipeline build now okay add an error console output oh let's see the error that we made the error is from the environment variables this i call it docker credentials id and i put docker hub credentials id okay so i'm gonna make the changes real quick and build it job again so vi jenkins file copy this change it in the environment variable save this and commit changes to github okay now on our pipeline let's do the 17th build build now so you can clearly see that was a success let's open this console output yep it went all the way on our terminal if i do docker images is two so when you build you have a local copy and then you have a copy pushed to docker hub okay this is the copy on docker hub and both are of the same size you can clearly see and the times also match okay then they have the same image id it's just a copy of it let's go to docker hub okay so on our docker hub go to our docker hub directory or repo which is the one that we just use is slash icon app that is the first one and you should see the latest tag of our image right here you click on it and currently the compressed size is 52 megabytes which is very light so thank you for joining me on this video and please like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this